Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for another episode of Nintendo Adventure Books Choose Your Own Adventure. Um, still got this book and another book so we'll keep going I guess. Uh, it's, it's like that awkward thing where I just like read but try to you know make the eye contact. <laughs> this one is the 11th in the series and it is called Unjust Desserts. Looks like Bowser's up to no good over there. Um, but yeah, we'll just see how this goes. We've m had mixed results in the past, but you know, whatever. Hopefully this is, this is better. So on like the first main page, it just like tells you how to play the game. Again, we know how to do that by now. We are old pros. This one was published in 1991. I haven't done it in ages. I figure it was probably like eight the last time I did these, so Let's just see how it goes. I've got my trusty stick it note and a pen so I can keep track of the things we get and the difficult math that sometimes needs to happen. But with that, let's just get into it. Happy birthday, Yoshi. The king of the mushrooms is throwing a party for his favorite dinosaur, Yoshi, and everyone is invited, including those two famous plumbers, Mario and Luigi. Practically the entire mushroom kingdom is squeezed into the great hall of the palace. Gulp. Great party, huh, Mario? Says Mario's younger brother Luigi through bites of pizza. The tall, skinny plumber has one slice in each hand and a third balanced on top of his green plumber's hat. You think you've had enough? Asks Mario. A worried look crosses Luigi's face. Maybe not, he answers, and runs back to the food table, bobbing through the packed crowd of mushrooms. A hush falls as the Mushroom King gets up to speak. By royal proclamation, I declare this to be Yoshi Day, he says. Yay! Everyone starts to cheer and applaud. Speech! Speech! They cry. The bright green dinosaur lumbers up to the front of the room. Plorp! He says, yay! Everyone cheers again. Not much of a speech, Mario says to Princess Toadstool, daughter of the king. What do you expect? She replied. Yoshi's just a baby. Give him a few years. Some baby, says Mario, looking at the six-foot-tall dinosaur. Toad, the royal mushroom retainer, wheels out a mammoth birthday cake. It's covered with thick orange and green icing and dotted with candied meatballs. That sounds kind of gross. <laughs> At the very top, surrounded by candles, is a purple cherry the size of a grapefruit. Make a wish, cries the princess. Yoshi closes his eyes and blows out the candles, splattering dozens of mushrooms with icing. Mario ducks as the icing goes flying and spots some of the coins on the floor. Hmm, he says, picking them up. Party favors! Meanwhile, Yoshi grabs the giant purple cherry from the top of the cake and gulps it down in one bite. Mario, something's wrong with Yoshi, cried Princess Toadstool a second later. What is it? asks Mario. He's turning purple for one thing, answers the princess. Now that you mention it, he does look a little strange, says Mario. They rush to Yoshi, who's rubbing his belly with one hand and patting his head with the other. Wow, look at that, says Mario. I told you he's sick, said the princess. No, I mean he can rub his belly and pat his head at the same time, says Mario. That's pretty neat. Mario, the princess says impatiently. Yoshi, do you have a stomach ache? she asks the dinosaur. Yoshi nods his head sadly and starts to turn orange. Then his eyes light up and he reaches for his birthday cake. He wants to eat the cake, Mario says. Maybe that will settle his stomach. Or maybe it'll make him sicker, says Princess Toadstool. Don't let him eat it. All right, so we have the very first puzzle here. It's like just a maze to get Mario down to see if he should eat or not eat. So I guess let's do this. I picked the one on the right. It says don't eat. I hope that that's the right call. So I got 10 coins and uh, we're going to page 106. Thinking fast, Mario trips the big dinosaur who goes crashing headverse into the table. The birthday cake topples over covering Toad and the king with icing. Great, exclaims the princess. Look what you've done. You said to stop him, answered Mario, but he's eating everything else, says the princess. Yoshi is running up and down the food tables, gobbling hot dogs, pizza, popcorn, ravioli sandwiches, ravioli sandwiches, and anything else he can get his hands on. Stop that dinosaur, commands the king, wiping cake off his beard. He's ruining the party. It must have been the cherry, says the princess. It's making him eat everything in sight. I'm not eating everything in sight, says Luigi, who walks over holding a steaming bowl of artichoke lasagna. I didn't even touch the onion dip. Not you, Mario yells. It's Luigi. Maybe he's hungry, Luigi shrugs. After all, he's a growing dinosaur. Luigi realizes he forgot the Parmesan cheese. He turns back to the table just as Yoshi finishes draining the 50-gallon punch bowl of green fizz. Yoshi looks down and sees Luigi. He opens his gigantic mouth and swallows the plumber in one gulp. Luigi shouts Mario and the princess together. Orp, says Yoshi. Turn to page 29. 
No, I hope I didn't kill Luigi already. Luigi, talk to me, Mario shouts at Yoshi's belly. Are you alright? Hmm, hmm, comes a muffled reply from inside Yoshi. What's he saying, asks Toad, still wiping bits of cake off his polka dot hat. I think he's saying, hmm, hmm, says the king helpfully. Come over by his head, says Princess Toadstool, pointing to a bump by Yoshi's belly button. You can hear him better. That's not his head, says Mario. He points out a large lump on Yoshi's side. This is. No, says Toad, pointing in another direction. It's over here. Hmm, hmm, Luigi shouts again. I'm not sure, but I think he's saying, get me out of here, says Toad. Only one person can help, says the princess, Doc Drake, the dino doctor. Not him, calls a voice. I wouldn't trust him one bit. Out of the crowd steps a short, round mushroom Mario has never seen before. My name is Fungus Cap, he says, and I say Doc Drake is a quack. Of course he's a quack, answers the princess. After all, he's a giant millard, but he's the best dino doctor in the Mushroom Kingdom. My cousin's dino had the same problem, says Fungus Cap. I just gave him one of these. He pulls out a large bottle filled with pink pills. Let me give one to Yoshi. I don't think so, says Mario. Are you sure these things work? Solve this puzzle to help Mario decide what to do. On the next page is a picture of Doc Drake's office. Bam. In it, there are some clues about whether he is a good dino doctor. Read the rules and look at the picture to decide if Mario should let the doctor treat Yoshi. All right, give me a second because this might take a while, so I'm just gonna be right back. All right, so I'm gonna go over the process here. So it says one, a good dino doctor should never have less than five things on their desk. This dino doctor has one, two, three, four, five, six. All good dino doctors have the same number of diplomas on their walls, so that doesn't really help me. There's three, but if a bad dino doctor has an even number of things on his desk, six, he has more diplomas on his wall than a good dino doctor. Again, that doesn't really help. <laughs> And then the last clue is a good dino doctor always has half as many diplomas on his walls as things on his desk. So he has six things on his walls, he has three diplomas. I'm gonna say he's a good dino doctor and hope we didn't kill everybody. So we're going to page 110. Send for Doc Drake, says Mario. You're making a mistake, says Fungus Cap. In 10 minutes, Toad returns with the dino doctor. The giant Millard waddles up on bright yellow webbed feet and peers at Yoshi through his glasses. The big dinosaur is green again and seems normal, except for the Luigi-shaped bulge in his belly. Aha, exclaims Doc Drake. What is it, doctor, asks the princess. Your highness, the dino doctor declares. I found the problem. This dinosaur has a plumber in his stomach. Some doctor, sneers Fungus Cap. Can you get him out, Mario pleads? Of course, the duck answers calmly. I've treated many cases like this. Did he by any chance eat a giant purple cherry? Why, yes, answers Mario. Ah, says Doc Drake. That was no ordinary giant purple cherry. It was a Koopa cherry from the garden of that no good Nick Bowser Koopa. Who put it on the cake? Toad steps forward. I did, he says. Fungus Cap gave it to me. You, exclaims Mario, glaring at Fungus Cap. Who are you anyway? Who do you think, you pitiful plumber? Fungus Cap pulls at his round mushroom head and it comes off, revealing the leery, warty green face of Bowser Koopa. Fungus Cap is really the evil king of the turtles. I plan to ruin Yoshi's party, laughs the turtle, but this is better than I'd hope. Say hi to Luigi for me, if you ever see him again. Before Mario can stop him, Bowser jumps out the window and lands on top of a waiting dino rhino. Ten coins fly out of his pocket. Hi ho, he shouts and gallops away. I'll get him for this, Mario yells. Mario collects 10 coins for unmasking Bowser. We're doing all right so far, everybody. Turn to page 64. So far we've got Luigi and a Yoshi, but other than that, not so bad. Drat, says Mario. Bowser sure knows how to ruin a party. He turns to the dino doctor. Doc, can you get Luigi out? Hmm, <clears throat> says Luigi from inside Yoshi. Don't worry, replies the dino doctor as he rummages around in his bag. He pulls out a very small brown bottle. The medicine in this bottle will solve everything. Great size, Mario. Well, what are you waiting for? Give it to him. There's only one problem, answers the big duck. I can't remember who's supposed to take it. Yoshi or Luigi. Solve this puzzle to find out who should take the medicine. The pictures on the page form a pattern. Who should go next to continue the pattern? That will tell you who should take the medicine. So, here's the pattern. Yoshi, Mario, or maybe that's Luigi. No, it's definitely Mario. So I'm gonna figure this out to figure out who should take that potion. Battery died, but we're back. Um, this one I think is actually pretty easy because it goes Yoshi, Mario, Yoshi, Mario, Yoshi, Yoshi, Mario, Yoshi, Yoshi, Mario, Yoshi, Yoshi, Mario. Unless it suddenly goes to triples, but there's no indication that's gonna do that. So I'm gonna say that Luigi takes it also because it's called Shrinking Potion and it wouldn't make sense, I don't think, for Yoshi to take it. 
So if you think Luigi should take the medicine, yes, turn to page 30. And by 30, I meant 10. I can read, I promise. Not very well. The dino doctor remembers suddenly. Of course, Luigi has to take the medicine. It will shrink him and then he can crawl out of Yoshi. Good thing we didn't give it to Yoshi. He would have shrunk with Luigi still inside him. Great, says Mario. Only how are we supposed to get to Luigi? Mail it to him? No, the royal post office is too slow, says the king. Don't worry, answers Doc Drake. He reaches into his bag again and comes up with a ball of string. We'll just lower it to him on the string. Quickly, the dino doc ties the end of the string around the small bottle. Now hold still, Yoshi, and open wide, he says as he walks up to the large dinosaur. Florp, says Yoshi. I think that means okay, says the princess. Unless it means I feel like swallowing a dino doctor, says Toad. But Yoshi doesn't try to swallow Doc Drake. He opens his mouth very wide and allows the dino doctor to lower the bottle down his throat. Yumph, cries Luigi from inside Yoshi. I think it hit him in the head, says Mario. Luigi, he calls. The bottle. Drink it. Yoshi looks at Mario, then grins, closes his mouth and swallows. The string disappears into his mouth. Gulp. No, shouts Mario. Not you, Yoshi. Doc, he swallowed the string. I know, says the duck, rubbing his wrist. He almost took my hand with it. Mario gets 50 points for guessing that Luigi is the one who's supposed to take the medicine. Keep track of that here, and now turn to page 79. Luigi, Mario shouts at one of the lumps in Yoshi's belly. Find the bottle. Huh? Huh? Luigi answers. I can't understand him, Mario groans. He's probably got a mouthful of pizza, says Princess Toadstool. No, he can't understand us either, says Mario. Yoshi's hide is too thick. Good news, shouts Doc Drake. You found another birthday cake, asks the king, running over from the food table. No, answers the dino doctor. I've got a second bottle of shrink medicine. Great, said the princess. Now how are we going to get Luigi to swallow it? There's only one thing to do, Mario declares bravely. Call him on the phone, asks the king. No, Mario answers. This is a job for a super plumber. I'll drink the second bottle of shrink medicine and go inside Yoshi, find the first bottle, and bring it to Luigi. I think it'll be easier to call him on the phone, says the king. Princess Toadstool turns to Mario. You'd better be prepared. What will you take with you? I don't know, Mario answers, pulling on his big black mustache. I've never gone inside a dinosaur before. I won't be able to carry much, but I should take one piece of equipment. I've got my plunger here and my flying suit. Which should I bring? Solve this puzzle to decide what Mario should take with him. Each pattern is a code that tells you how to move where you land on it. Start at any one of the squares across the top row and move according to the pattern that is there. Keep moving until you land on a suit or a plunger. So, that's it there. It'd be nice if somebody could just pick, pick one. I'm gonna go second from the left. So going one down, one over, four over, one down, two down. It's a plunger. We are taking a plunger. I feel like a plunger would be better in a dinosaur anyway, because I don't... I guess if he shrunk, he could maybe fly, but still. And I get 100 points for volunteering to go into Yoshi. We're doing all right. Turn to page 112. Mario, be careful in there, says Princess Toadstool. I'll be fine, says Mario. Just make sure Yoshi doesn't eat anything else. I don't want to wind up swimming in a sea of spaghetti sauce. Sounds like fun to me, says the king. Mario lifts the bottle to his lips. I'll be back, he vows, with Luigi. Wait, says Toad. While well, you're in there, what do we do? What about all the other guests? Mario looks at the hundreds of loyal mushroom subjects who have gathered round. He then spies the orange and green pile of goo that is the remains of Yoshi's birthday cake. Let them eat cake, Mario says grandly and swallows the medicine. Whoosh! Mario feels the air rushing by as suddenly he shrinks until he's just a fraction of an inch high. Yow, he shouts. What's that? Mario thinks a giant pink mountain is about to fall on him. Then he realizes it's the hand of Princess Toadstool reaching down to lift him into Yoshi's mouth. Mario, are you okay? The roar of Princess Toadstool's voice almost knocks the plumber over. Swoosh! The princess grabs him by his red overalls and lifts him through the air. To the tiny Mario, it seems as if he's soaring a hundred miles above the ground. Suddenly, he's hanging upside down above a giant dark cavern lined with rows of sharp white rocks. That's no cavern, he says to himself. That's Yoshi's mouth. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Hey, princess, he shouts, put me down. The princess hears Mario squeaking. He's so brave, she says to Toad and the king, wiping a tear from her eye. Then she lets go of Mario's overalls. Watch out below, Mario yells as he plunges down. He lands with a soft thud on Yoshi's large pink tongue. He tries to stand up, but the tongue is too wet and slippery. He scrambles towards a smooth, hard white area. That's relief, he gasps, holding on to the shiny white platform. He looks directly above his head. 
Hmm, he says, there's another one up there. It reminds me of something. He sees another white platform next to the one he's on, and beyond that, another. Like giant white stepping stones, they lead back into Yoshi's mouth. These platforms seem to lead somewhere, he thinks. Maybe I should follow them. I think they're teeth. Solve this puzzle for a hint about something Mario will need if he stays where he is. Mario can jump from one stepping stone to another. He can move forward and sideways, but not diagonally or backwards. As you pass over the letter, write them down. If you find the correct way to Luigi, then the letters will spell the name of an item Mario might use. All right, so this is what the puzzle looks like. I guess I pick one down here and um, yeah. Give me a second. Okay, so I started the letters for a bit here, and then I read the underneath part, and it says, If you think Mario should follow the platforms, turn to page 73. If you think Mario should go back on Yoshi's tongue, turn to page 69. And, um, I'm pretty sure they're teeth, so I'm gonna go with the tongue, so I'm just gonna go to 69. 69! Wait a minute, Mario says as he looks at the shiny white rock. That's a tube. If I crawled on top, I'd have been squished flatter than a pizza under a dino rhino. Suddenly, he's blinded by a light. The big dinosaur is opening his mouth. No, Yoshi! Mario can hear Princess Toadstool yelling. The whole floor starts to tilt and shake. Yoshi is moving. Boom! Boom! Yoshi's steps feel like earthquakes to the tiny plumber. Yoshi, stop! Don't drink that! yells the princess. A giant wave of purple fruit punch pours in over Yoshi's teeth and knocks Mario off his feet. Yow! yells Mario as he's swept away by the tide of sticky purple juice. The flood of punch streams like a waterfall down Yoshi's throat. Mario feels himself falling. Thud! The plumber bounces against a soft floor. When he stands up, he's knee-deep in grape punch. Good thing I'm wearing my hat, he says, and flicks a switch on his red plumber's cap. A bright beam of light shoots out from the front of the cap. Mario sees he's in some kind of large red room with thick rubbery walls. Hmm, <laughs> fring! Luigi's voice vibrates through the walls, but Mario can't tell where it's coming from. I'm coming, little brother, Mario calls. He looks around the bag. There are three narrow tunnels leading out. One on the left, one on the right, and one in the middle. Mario pulls on the end of his mustache. Which way should I go, he wonders. Solve this puzzle to find out something Mario will need if he takes the center tunnel. Unscramble the words and write them down. Circle the letters in the unscrambled words that fall in the same place as the circled letters in the scrambled words. Then unscramble the letters you circled. The answer is something Mario will need in the center tunnel. If you think Mario should take the exit on the left, right or center. Okay, I'm very confused so I need to read those instructions again but this is what the puzzle looks like. So um, yeah, let's figure it out. I'm still confused about this puzzle and like taking the letters that are in the circle don't spell anything that I can tell but if you unscramble the second letter on the left tunnel it says Luigi so I'm gonna guess that that's the way I want to go. Hope for the best. And it's not smart enough for these, or maybe that's what I was supposed to realize. I don't know. They all look the same to me, says Mario, shrugging his shoulders. Same. He plunges into the left-hand tunnel. The beam from his plumber's cap shines on round yellow walls. Looks like the pipe I was in last week, he says as he slogs through the great punch. Ahead of him, the passageway is blocked by a large, round, red, and brown boulder. What is that, Mario wonders. He pushes the boulder with his fingers, and a hunk of it comes away. Mario sniffs the brown stuff. It's a meatball. Thank God. He says, I've got to remind Yoshi to chew his food before he swallows. With a few kicks of his boot, Mario breaks the meatball into pieces. It floats away on the great punch. Just beyond, the pipe empties out into another chamber. The walls are green and spotted with large lumps. Dinosaurs sure are weird inside, Mario says to himself. Bzzz, brrr. What's that, Mario cries, just as a swarm of flat, bug-like creatures comes crawling out of a hole in the floor. Each is about as big as Mario's foot, with six long arms and two big crab-like claws. As Mario watches, the bugs grab pieces of the meatball and bits of spaghetti floating in the punch and throw them down the hole. I guess they work here, Mario says. Clang, buzz. A harsh, rasping noise like a buzzsaw comes from the hole in the floor. Then three of the shiny orange bugs grab Mario and start hauling him towards the hole. Uh-oh. <laughs> hey, I'm no meatball, Mario shouts. He shakes himself loose. Then he feels himself being pulled in another direction. He looks down and sees a bunch of round blue bugs pulling him towards a different hole. This one is in the wall. Gurgle glug. Mario hears loud, wet, sucking noises coming from inside the hole in the wall. Yuck, he says, shaking free of the blue bugs. I'm not going in there. Mario sees a bunch of orange bugs heading for him. He jumps up and lands on the back of one of them. Squish! It disappears under the great punch. He jumps again and lands on a blue bug. Squish! Using the bugs as stepping stones, he quickly bounces around the room, looking for another way out. But there isn't any. Well, here's a problem, Mario says. 
both ways out of here are totally gross, but I have to choose one. Solve the puzzle to see which way Mario goes. Get Mario to the other side of the room by jumping from bug to bug. Add or subtract the number of points on each. Mario can move in any direction, but he can't jump on the same bug twice. If Mario scores less than 300, turn to page 90. If he scores more than 300, turn to page 116. So this is what it looks like. I have to do some math. I'll be back. All right, so going through my score was less than 300. It was like negatives. Um, so that means go to page 90. I like I tried to get the highest score I could and it did not go well. Anyways, page 90. Come on, you orange bugs. Mario shouts, I'm your meatball. The orange creatures grab Mario and drag him to the hole in the floor. Okay, okay, Mario complains. Don't push. Hey, watch out. Meow. Crash, Mario lands on a sticky moving floor surrounded by piles of food. To Mario, the heaps of spaghetti are as big as fire hoses and the pickles are as large as watermelons. Brzz, brzz. What is that, Mario says, turning his cap so the light shines ahead. Oh no, he shouts, I'm being digested. Like a giant conveyor belt, the moving floor is carrying him straight towards a large opening. Mario stares in horror as he sees the wall of the opening crash and rub together, grinding the food into tiny pieces. This is not looking good. That's dangerous, he says, and disgusting. Let me out of here. Overhead, Mario spots an opening. He reaches up for it, but slips on a wet hunk of cheese. By the time he gets up, he's even closer to the grinding walls. I've heard of food processors, but this is ridiculous, Mario says and starts running. He slips again and falls face first into a pile of rice pudding, jumps up and leaps over an olive, hurdles a pretzel as big as a tree trunk, and with a final jump, grabs the opening of the pipe and hauls himself in. Whew. Mario loses 100 points for almost getting digested. Turn to page 92. I can deal with that. I will lose 100 points to not get eaten. Mario crawls through the pipe and after a while pokes his head into another large chamber. This one has purplish walls that are curved and bent in strange shapes. <laughs> Luigi, Mario shouts at his brother's muffled voices echo through the room. Where are you, little brother? Marv? Good area. Mario turns his searchlight all around the dark chamber, but he can't see a sign of Luigi. He sits down and looks at the strangely shaped wall. I know I've seen that wall before, he says, but where? Mario, where are you? As Luigi's voice booms through the room, Mario sees the whole wall move. It's him, Mario shouts, jumping up. Luigi's on the other side of that wall. Mario presses his ear to the rubbery wall, and suddenly he can hear Luigi clearly. That Mario, Luigi is saying, I wish he'd hurry up and get me out of here, and I wish Yoshi'd quit drinking grape aid. Yep. Mario presses his face to the wall. Luigi shouts, can you hear me? Mario, Mario, where are you? I'm just on the other side of the wall, Mario answers, just above your left nostril, I think. Well, could you move, Luigi says? You're making my nose itch. How'd you get in here anyways? Quickly, Mario explains how Doc Drake shrank him so he could rescue Luigi. Great, said Luigi. Now, if the princess could only get Yoshi to stop eating for a while. Every time he opens his mouth, a new load of food lands on my head. Boom, boom. What's happening, Mario yells as everything around him starts to shake. I think Yoshi is moving, Luigi answers. When he opens his mouth, I can hear people talking outside. Listen. Mario presses his ear against the wall and hears Princess Toadstool's voice. Yoshi, stop, she's saying angrily. Don't go down those stairs, Yoshi. Boom, 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 boom. Mario is thrown from one end of the chamber to the other. Luckily, the walls are soft. He climbs back to Luigi and presses his ear to the wall again. Mario, you're standing on my eyeball, Luigi complains. Sorry, says Mario, what's happening now? I think we're outside in the palace garden, Luigi answers. Listen, Yoshi, stop right there, Princess Toadstool says. No, you can't eat those boomer berries. Yoshi, not boomer berries, wails Luigi. They smell worse than three-day-old sauerkraut. Mario, do something. Like what, Mario asks. Solve this puzzle to help decide what Mario should do. Answer the questions to come up with a number. Then starting with the first letter of the coded message, move forward or backward in the alphabet, the number of letters equal to that number. Write down the new number. Do this for each letter of the message. The decode it message is a clue for Mario. So that's what we're looking at there. If you think Mario should stop Yoshi, turn to page 74. If you think he shouldn't, turn to 54. Um, so the number of letters and the color of Mario's plumber uniform is R-E-D, red, so three. Add the number of ducks that Mario has seen so far in this adventure, which is one because the doctor was a quack, so we're at four. Subtract the number of pieces of cake Luigi ate before Yoshi swallowed him, which is, I think it was zero, right? I'm pretty sure it was zero. 
so minus zero. So we're gonna go with four. So use this total to decode the message. So give me a second, because I'm gonna have to like do some brain. That took way too long. <laughs> so I had to like do this and just shift everything forward for, and four was correct, I hope, because it says smelly berries are okay. So it's fine. Don't don't stop Yoshi, I hope. Turn to page 54. That was way more complicated for my brain than I would have liked if we're being honest. Luigi, be a man, Mario advises. A little smell won't hurt you. I can't take it, wails Luigi. Well, I, Mario begins. Too late, he cries. Oh, no. Don't yell so much, Mario calls to his brother. You'll give Yoshi the... <laughs> the force of Yoshi's hiccups throws Mario across the chamber and he falls into a dark tunnel. He bounces downward for a long time and rolls gently onto a soft floor covered with long green hair. Hmm, says Mario. I always wanted a carpet like this for a plumber shop. I'll have to ask Yoshi where he got it. He looks around and sees that the tunnel narrows and then ends a little ways away. Wow, he says, catching his breath. I must have fallen all the way into Yoshi's tail. Hiccup! <laughs> Yoshi hiccups again and his tail swings wildly from side to side. While Mario holds on, something large and hard bonks him right in the head. Ouch, he says. He turns his light around. There in the beam is a large brown bottle, almost as tall as he is. Eureka, Mario yells. The shrink medicine. He grabs the bottle and hugs it with one arm just as Yoshi starts hiccuping again. Mario now has the medicine bottle. I think things are going all right, guys. Turn to page 44. Wow, Mario says, this ball is going to be hard to carry. I'd better wait here until the hiccuping stops. Hiccup! Hail flies up and then smacks it on the ground with Mario inside it. Yikes, he mutters, that was close. I almost dropped the bottle. We're car, quick bar. Yoshi's voice sounds as if it's miles away. What's he saying, Mario wonders. He sounds scared or angry or something. Mario tries to pull on his mustache without letting go of the bottle. On second thought, he thinks, maybe I should get back to Luigi as fast as I can. No telling what might happen inside this dino. Solve the puzzle to figure out what Mario should do. Look at the pictures of Bowser Koopa. How many are exactly the same? If you think it's an even number, turn to page 28. If you think it's an odd number, turn to page 117. There we go. Away I go. All right, so I think it's an odd number because I think it's three because that guy matches that guy who matches that guy. So three, so we're going to 117 and hoping for the best. I'd better try to reach Luigi, Mario says. Sounds like he's in trouble. He struggles up the inside of Yoshi's tail, listening for any sign of a hiccup. When one comes, he lies down and grabs hold of the thick green carpet. After a while, the hiccuping stops and Mario makes his way up the long tail until he comes to a sloping tunnel that leads up. This must be the way, he says, lugging the bottle up the steep hill. Why don't they make dinosaurs with escalators? Because no one thought stupid plumbers would climb inside them, says a raspy voice. Mario looks up and sees two hooded turtles in one-piece suits charging him. Sumo brothers, he cries. Bowser Koopa must have shrunk them and sent them into Yoshi. Bingo, shouts one of the sumo bros as he charges right into Mario and knocks him flat. It's all Mario can do to hold onto the bottle. Nobody knocks over a Super Mario brother, Mario shouts. Oh yeah, sneers the other sumo brother. He charges into Mario from the other side, sending him flying. Well, Mario fumes, nobody knocks over Super Mario Brother twice. He carefully puts down the bottle and turns to face the two Koopa Commandos. Mario gets 100 points for leaving Yoshi's tail. Yay us. Turn to page 57. Okay, you sumos, Mario grumbles as he dusts himself off. I've had enough of this. Oh yeah, sneers one of the sumos. He turns to the other rotund wrestler. Let's knock this plumber down the drain. The two sumo brothers stand on opposite sides of Mario and dig in their heels. Then they both charge. But Mario leaps lightly into the air and the two sumos run head first right into each other. Kablam! I guess I threw a wrench into your plans, Mario says. The two sumos sprawl face down on the floor. Crack! Mario ducks as he hears the sound of a Koopa shell being fired. Uh-oh, here comes the rest of Bowser's army. Coming down the tunnel is a squad of Koopa Troopas. Mario can see the cannons on the turtles' backs, firing blue and yellow Koopa shells. A yellow shell comes zooming at Mario and he ducks. Then a Koopa Troopa launches a blue shell. Mario dodges that one also. Think fast, Mario says to himself. If I smash a yellow shell, it will make Yoshi's insides shrink. But I can't remember what the blue shells do. Just then, a blue and yellow shell comes flying right from Mario. What'll I do, he wonders. Solve this puzzle to find out what the blue shells do to Yoshi. Look at the list of Koopa commandos. Find the names in the puzzle and cross them out. Words may run up, down, forward, or backwards. When you've found all the names, the remaining letters will tell you what the blue shell will make Yoshi do. So, in this case, it looks like it's already solved. I'm going to verify it before I um, commit to anything. And um, let's, let's see what the blue shells do. All right, so the blue shells will make Yoshi fly. 
Should I make him shake or make him fly? I'd really like somebody's help right now. If he flies, he could fly away. And then we'd never know where Yoshi went. And nobody could stop him from eating more stuff, but he's eating more stuff anyways. If it shakes, Mario could end up back. <laughs> you don't know. Let's go with blue, because I had to solve for blue. So <laughs> we're gonna go to 42 and hope for the best. Blam! Mario smashes the blue shell and explodes in a shower of sparks. Suddenly the tunnel starts to glow with blue light. What's happening, says one of the Sumer brothers as he who wakes up in that moment. Why does it feel like we're in an elevator? You're dreaming, says the other sumo brother. Go back to sleep. He's not dreaming, Mario says. Yoshi is flying. That's what the blue shells make him do. They make him fly. So big deal, snorts the first sumo. He goes up like a birdie. Yes, says Mario, looking for a handhold. But what goes up must come down. As he says it, the floor falls out from under them. He's diving, Mario shouts, as he and the sumo brothers and the Koopa Troopas float above the floor. Look, we're weightless, shouts one of the sumo brothers. Good, says the other. Now I don't have to go on a diet. With a thud, they fall to the ground as Yoshi starts soaring up again. Hey, this is fun, says one of the sumos. Almost as much fun as smashing plumbers, which reminds me. The sumo brothers get set to charge Mario again, but as they do, Yoshi decides to do a loop-de-loop. -loop. Everything in the tunnel turns upside down. Yow, shouts the sumo brothers as they slide down a pipe opening in the ceiling. Bye-bye, bozos, Mario laughs. That's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, whoosh. Mario slides into a pipe in the tunnel wall as Yoshi turns over again. This dinosaur needs seatbelts, Mario grumbles as he falls through the darkness. Mm -mm. Turn to page seven. Crash! Yoshi lands with a thud. So does Mario. I guess the blue shell spell has worn off, he says, as he gets up and dusts himself off. Where am I now? By the light of his headlamp, Mario sees that he's in the middle of a large green chamber full of pits and waterfalls. Rumble, rumble. Sounds like Yoshi has indigestion, Mario says. That'll happen when you go around swallowing plumbers. Rumble, rumble. Funny, Mario says, but it almost sounds like a herd of dino rhinos. Mario turns just in time to see a whole herd of dino rhinos come rumbling around the hill. Their short, blunt horns are lowered and they are charging right at him. Uh-oh, he gulps and jumps out of the way of the first rhino. He does a somersault over the second and leaps on tiptoe over a third. The charging, snorting rhinos are too slow and clumsy to catch him, and soon he's jumped over all of them. Phew, he sighs with relief. Time to get out of here. Mario hops along a stream of brown, bubbling liquid. Soon he reaches a vast lake of the stuff. Mario can't see any way around. Do I have to swim, he wonders? He sniffs the bubbling lake. Hmm. This is Koopa Cola. You're not supposed to swim in Koopa Cola. Or maybe you're not supposed to swim in Green Fizz. Or maybe it's Boomer Berry Juice. I just saw an article on this in the Mushroom Kingdom Health News. Solve the puzzle to find out which of the three liquids is the one Mario shouldn't swim in. So, that's what it looks like. Here's a picture from the Mushroom Kingdom Health News. One holds a Koopa Cola, one holds a Boomer Berry Juice, and one holds Green Fizz. You can't see how much each of the glasses hold, but luckily the editors included the information. Math. There's exactly 22 ounces of the drink that you never want to swim in. There's one quart plus one ounce of the Boomer Berry Juice. What's a quart? Hey Google, what's a quart in ounces? One U.S. liquid quart is equal to 32 U.S. fluid ounces. Okay, so the Boomer is 30 four ounces. There's exactly as much Berry Boomer juice as there is Green Fizz and Koopa Cola added together, which is the drink that Mario shouldn't swim in. Oh, and there's twice as much Koopa Cola as Green Fizz. 33. 32 plus one is not 34. So if there's twice as much of the Koopa Cola, it means that the Koopa Cola has 22 ounces and the Green Fizz has 11 ounces. So he shouldn't swim in it because the Koopa Cola is something you should not swim in. Okay, so if you think you shouldn't swim in it, turn to page 13. Math is hard, but thank you, Google. You're great. I can't swim in this, says Mario as he touches the Koopa Cola with his toe. You're right, says a high squeaky voice. The round blue head of a dolphin pokes up from the lake of Koopa Cola. A dolphin, Mario says in surprise. How did you get here? I'm a micro dolphin, the animal answers. Name's Donnie. I live here. But how did you get here? Did someone call for a plumber? No, Mario says, but this place could use one. He tells the micro dolphin the story of how Luigi got swallowed by Yoshi. Yoshi, Donnie says. Who's Yoshi? Why, Yoshi's the dinosaur you live in, Mario answers, surprised. Donnie lets out a loud buzzing laugh. Dinosaur, hear that, guys, he yells. This plumber says, we live inside a dinosaur. Four more dolphin heads break the surface of the Cola Lake. They laugh loudly. But you do, Mario insists. Very funny, Donnie replies. Next, you'll be telling us the world is round. 
Mario shrugs. Forget it, he says. Anyways, it's a good thing you didn't try to swim through this stuff, Donnie says. Cola is too sticky for you to get through without flippers. Come on, guys, let's give the little plumber a hand. Jump on board. Okay, thanks, says Mario, and he steps on Donnie's back. Solve this puzzle to score extra points. There are many ways across the sea of Koopa Cola if you use the dolphins to help you. Get Mario through the maze. Each time you pass over a dolphin, Mario gets two coins. And then turn to page 119. So that's what it looks like. I'm going to get myself some coins here. And, um... I'll be right back. It looks to me like the most points or coins I can get is um, four. So we're taking four coins and we are turning to page 119. Yeehaw, Mario shouts as he rides on Donnie's back. Ride him, cowboy. The micro dolphins laugh again. What a comedian. First dinosaurs, now cows, Donnie says. Everyone knows cows are extinct. Donnie and his pals cross the lake with no problem. The sticky cola just slides off them. Before long, Mario's standing on the other shore, wiping Koopa Cola off his boots. Thanks a lot, he says to the micro dolphins. Turn. Hmm. Thanks a lot, he says, as the micro dolphins turn to swim away. Don't mention it, Donnie answers. Say hi to the dinosaur when you see him. Ha ha. I guess I wouldn't believe me either, Mario says. He turns away from the lake and comes face to face with a high yellow cliff. The wall stretches as far as Mario can see in either direction. A narrow staircase leads up one side. He starts to bounce up the stairs. Kaboom! A shell from Koopa Troopa explodes just above him. Mario looks up and sees an entire army of Koopa commandos coming down the staircase to get him. I can't get past them, he says, looking at the narrow stairs, and there are too many of them for me to fight. I sure could use some help. If Mario has the Star Man, turn to page 5. If he doesn't have the Star Man, turn to page 16. Uh-oh. <laughs> Don't have it. I could use a Star Man right now, Mario says as he runs back down the stairs. I wonder if there are any that I missed on my way. Too late to look now. As he runs down the stairs, he slips and falls into the lake of Koopa Cola. Quickly, he becomes stuck in the gooey brown liquid. Oh no, he moans. I'm a sitting duck for those Koopas. I'll never get out of here. Someone will have to rescue Luigi. And me too, come to think of it. Game over. I thought we were doing so well there for a while. We never came across a star man and there's no place to like keep track of it back here. Alas. Poor Mario, RIP. Anyways, continued mixed bag of results. I hope you enjoyed this one. And um, I do have one more to read, so maybe I'll get to the round to that before I go. But if not, we got a couple. And um, bye. <laughs>